Ladies and geraniums, today we're going to be discussing boundaries. Not the lines between countries that can sometimes be rather arbitrary because of the way that they change so that something that used to be part of Albania is now part of another country entirely just or you know parts of Russia that didn't exist prior to World War II for example and then the parts of and then of course Poland which has which for a while there wasn't technically a country because it was part of the Soviet Union but it wasn't yeah we're not discussing that kind of stuff, although I have to say it is very, very interesting. And maybe one day I'll do a video about geography. Maybe. Okay, so. What are the, are there things that you will put up with up until that moment where your head basically says, yeah, no, absolutely not. This, this is just. I am done. I am going to tell you where you can go, what you can do with yourself, when and while you're getting there. And by the way, would you kindly have romantical relations with a cacti? And perhaps a rabid wolverine? You know, after you ask permission. Because I'm all about consensual relationships even if you are having them with angry wolverines and or cacti okay so there have always been things that are joked about i i am not a very very benevolent human being first thing in the morning you know that nightmare before coffee short shirt i bought to discuss nightmares you know, the things that one has when they're sleeping, but then realized, huh, yeah, one, this seems to fit into the coffee is my personality thing that many people joke about, but also it seems to go into, it seems to show people that, hmm, yeah, maybe, maybe I should just hand her some form of breakfasty thing and just back away. Here is your breakfasty thing, even though you're not exactly a breakfasty type person. Go for it. Um, but if you insist, I'm really fond of peach yogurt. Also, the strawberry rhubarb yogurt from Siggy's. Highly recommend. Okay, so the 4% uh, milk fat. Do not touch anything lower than the 4% milk fat sugar-free yogurt is disgusting okay you want especially when the yogurt like siggy's doesn't really have as much sugar as other yogurts you want the milk fat okay anyway one day we will also discuss fat versus sugar and why taking the fat out of things and then adding large gallons of sugar to it does not make a thing healthy and in fact makes it taste like trash okay so i recently had to take a look at where my boundaries were you know because as much as i love people and as much as i have fondness towards people i found that I, I was willing to ignore people who called me at certain hours of the day because I knew that I would be a cranky, I would be a cranky crabby. I would basically be telling them to do things that they would not appreciate because quite frankly, at that point in time, yo, dude, I just did two tests a midterm and am up to my ears in work 
and readings and there is no way in Hades that I am going to feel very commutative. So sure, I am happy to, I don't know, send a little text or something that says, yo, hi, how's it going? I'm doing good. That's great. But there are people in this world who will call you at 3 a.m. and actually expect you to be able to communicate and or make accusations because you aren't appreciative. So let me tell you this. If I had someone that I was being romantical with, I am almost certain that I would not be able to shut up about it because I know myself. I mean, I got onto honor society. I am working hard and I am doing all this other stuff and I am unable to shut up about it. I am showing people the terrible cartoons that I am making of natural killer cells or what I refer to as the assassins, complete with goatees. This is the kind of person that I am. So if you are doing that and acting like a very jealous human being, I appreciate your interest. Please hold for the next available operator, but also I don't have the time or the inclination right now because quite frankly, I have other things on my mind. So there are boundaries here. Sometimes a person needs the, ch needs the ability to focus on the good, where it comes from, but also to, let's say you have a break because you've managed to finish everything on your little listy boo. You, I'm not always the most human focused human being. I might get into my own little head and granted, yes, I appreciate when people can pull me out of it. The problem is some people expect, it feels like some people expect other people to be on at all times and I am not always on and sometimes yes I do need to get out of my own head yes I could probably stand a change in scenery I am just I am not in a place where I am able to get there. This is the closest I've gotten to actually saying it. So obviously saying it, you know, speaking it out is great, but it's very difficult when someone is making accusations or, you know, first of all, you are not my father. You do not get to ask me things like, so what have you been up to? You ain't my daddy. You, you can, I don't behave for you. I just remembered some part at the back of my head is saying, yo, you do realize what you sound like. And now I do. This video is not about that particular aspect of human relationships. Also, this video is not appropriate for children. <clears throat> but, see, when you do that and you make accusations like that and you somehow can't quite get in there and understand that some people need a little bit of recharge time and so other other things are just going to 
bug them is not gonna make people comfortable around you. There are things that you can do if you sense that someone is feeling a little bit fuggy and might need you come out of their own. This, this is not it. But I admit, I do need to get out of my own head. So I will be working on that the minute I'm done with the chapters that I'm reading and take my test on Monday. Although, you know what I mean. I might even call someone later. So anyway, I love y'all. And this is definitely not meant to be taken as advice, as you can tell. But if I'm happy to come back and see if I can find some way of giving advice on what does seem to help me because there are things and uh if you have anything you let me know love ya be good to yourselves eat well drink well hydrate yeah it's getting colder but hydrate uh, be kind to yourself It's okay if you need to recharge. It happens to everyone.